Hi there, welcome back in the studio. This video is brought to you by Gospel Beats at gospelbeats.com. This is the fourth and final episode of the Mixing with the Q10 series. We're trying to mix a whole song, an hip hop song, just with the Q10 EQ plugin from Waves. And we're also demonstrating the four bands beginner EQing technique. We're getting to vocals now. So this is a crucial part of mixing in any genre and especially in hip hop music, because you want to have a great beat but you also want to have great vocals, okay? Now, we decided to keep things super simple, as we always do here at Gospel Beats. Uh, we just went with a stereo track here, with all the vocals at once. So we have the main vocal line, all the dubs, and all the backings. So it's not a situation you can uh, come across in Super Pro mixing, okay? Because most of the time we work on multi-track sessions, but it's a thing you can find in real life, okay? We want to keep things simple and real here. And we want to avoid confusing the guys who are just starting out. Okay, so bear with us, uh, as always, it's just to demonstrate a simple technique um, to the people out there. We wanna share the knowledge and give something back to the music community. So if you're an expert, this is just for educational purposes, right? Okay. So we have our stereo tracks. Let's listen to the vocal scene solo. Welcome, welcome to the Prey Station. Guess who's back? Coming from vacation. Anticipation, anticipated. Coming full of staff. Yeah, I'm glad I made yep. it. Yeah, come on. Album orchestrated, independent. Good sounding vocals. Okay, they came pre mixed. So I didn't do crazy stuff on them. I just balance uh, things out, okay, and filter, of course, as we always do. But we need to be super careful when um, addressing um, the vocals issues, okay? So we have the classic four bands um, scenario here, just filtering at the bottom. We have an enhancement, um, attenuation zone, and then a high-end highlight zone. As always, nothing crazy, guys. Very simple. We're keeping the concept steady throughout um, the whole project here. Okay, so we're applying more or less the same concept, okay? Um, we added um, the Q3 in the guitars lesson. Here we're going back to the four band setup because we need more flexibility. But concepts are still the same. So we want to get rid of most of the rumble in the low end. So the in not audible subharmonics, as always, we filter some of the rumble bass as well, because we don't need anything in this area. You do have uh, these frequencies. Um, these frequencies are picked up by the microphone when you sing into it, okay? But you don't want to listen to them, okay? This is the bass and kick drum zone. The low end of the guitars is here. You don't need to have it in the vocals, but you do have to be careful because you don't want to kill the, the presence of the vocals, okay? Come on. Album orchestrated, independent, either like a hated, okay. minister to music, it's who we are, can't believe we made it this far. Some low-end reduction is fine. You don't want to get into the mobile phone call domain, okay, so to speak. So reduce a little bit of the rumble. Just stop when you start feeling like uh, someone, something is losing, okay? Now, we have a enhancement zone here. Uh, it's not always uh, necessary to do so. Uh, I felt like I need a little bit more of uh, presence here. So, Far. The way of the world is the way of the flesh. The way of the flesh is the way of the yep. world. The way of the world is the way of the flesh. The yeah. way of the flesh all is to death. The way okay, this is adding a little bit more presence to the vocals. Okay, uh, if you want to get a little bit about uh, acoustics, okay, this is part of the frequencies that are coming from your chest when you're singing. Okay, we don't want to pick up bad frequencies, which are frequencies that are coming from your throat most of the time, and the really bad frequencies are coming from your nose, actually. So you want to pick the uh, body of your voice, okay? And the body of your voice is coming from your body. There's no trick about it. <laughs> Vocals are pretty uh, straightforward, 
as far as uh, physics are concerned. You just have to um, kind of understand what to enhance and what to uh, filter. Okay, so my advice uh, is to enhance this area if you want to have more presence and if you want to have um, slightly more in your face kind of vocal. So it's fine for this hip hop kind of thing. I wouldn't do that most of the time for pop music, rock music. You want to have uh, a thinner kind of voice in that genre most of the time, but every uh, vocal is different because every person is different and every genre, every song is different. So here you may want to experiment with that. You can go either in gain or you can go in attenuation. It depends on the results you want to achieve and on the genre and on the type of voice. So there's no golden rule here. This can be a starting point, okay? Most of the time, but this does not necessarily mean that you have to do that uh, all the time. Just experiment with that. Find um, a sound that is pleasing to your ears um, at first, and then try to match it with the tone of the song. So you have to work a lot on vocals. Vocals are really hard uh, to make, so you have to Use the swipe technique, okay, and use all the different techniques we discussed in the in the lessons to find your sweet spot. Experiment with that, guys. Okay, we have the sibilance reduction zone. We introduced that in the um, synth video, so if you skip that, go back to the third video of the series. So basically, the sibilance are uh, the, the sound that's coming from the attack of the letters Z, S, and F, okay? So it's that sibilance, which is really unpleasant, uh, that you hear when someone is speaking very close to you. Okay, it's almost like a whistle. Okay, and it is not um, a thing you want to hear uh, in a recording. Okay, for multiple reasons. Again, phys physics are involved. I'm not going to speak the professor part here. I'm just telling you guys to go at 4K, and if you hear too much S, Zs, and stuff like that, try to lower the 4K spot, okay? If you still have problems, lower the 4K and the 8K as well. We can do that because we're doing the beginner thing, but if you have a six or eight band EQ, just try to lower that uh, kind of range, okay? Because you have the 4K, you have the main resonance, and the 8K, you're gonna have the harmonics, but I want, don't wanna get too much into the advanced uh, course, okay? Uh, we're doing simple stuff here. So if you're a beginner, just stay with that concept. Sibilance is around 4K. If you have problems with vocals, too much S sound, too much whistle sound, just try to lower the 4K range. Because we're attenuating, okay, a high frequency, we don't wanna do that, okay, at the higher hand. We want to have a little bit of enhancement, but we don't want to ruin what we did at the 4K spot by raising all the upper harmonics here by a lot. Okay, be very careful because if you have problems here, you also have some of that problem here. So you have hair here, you have information about the reverb, but unfortunately, all the frequencies are linked. So you still have some of the higher harmonics of the sibilants here. So doing a sibilance, sibilance reduction and then doing a high, reckless, high hand uh, enhancement doesn't make any sense. So be careful about that. So I was really, really conservative about this because I want a little bit of spark, a little bit of air, but I don't want too much sibilance because Album orchestrated, independent, either like a hated, menacing to music is who we are. Can't believe we made it this far. The okay, just... Notice the word music is triggering quite a bit of sibilance, which is fine at this stage, but if we do this... Straight it, independent, either like a hate it, menacing to music, is who we are, okay. can't believe we made it this far. The way if we go all the way up, the, the word music is going to last for about a second because it's going to trigger a lot of the reverb, and we don't want that, okay? We don't want vocals to be noisy, we want that every word to have its space, so we need a little bit of an attack, but we don't want to have too much confusion, okay? That's pretty much about it, guys. We're applying the same concept here, and you've learned by now that it's all about filtering the right stuff, 
doing a little bit, but not too much of enhancing, okay, and address specific problems. So that's when um, a good EQing plugin comes in handy. That's why the Q10 uh, has been around since forever. So guys, that's it for this lesson. That's it for the whole course, really. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the lessons. I hope you learned something from me. And keep experimenting, keep learning, keep pushing forward with your audio knowledge. And believe me, guys, um, mixing is not rocket science. You can do it. The only thing you have to do is practice, 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 and learning some key concepts. So thank you very much, guys, for having me. Be sure to check out Gospel Beats channel for other amazing content. Consider subscribing to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.